Hey everybody, it's Brandon Railway. Please pardon the mess, I'm still working on this layout. Um, as you can see, I'm replacing two of the buildings back there. One I finally got done getting painted and everything. So anyhow, I'm gonna do a review of the uh, Atherin Genesis GP15-1. I got the GMTX or GATX uh, GP15-1 with ditch lights. It does not have a start, well, it does have a startup feature, but it automatically comes on when you give the track power. I'm not quite sure how to shut that off yet. But I have it on mute, so I'll go ahead and drive it up here on mute. That's just two speed steps. So you guys can get a look at what she looks like. And there's some decent cab interior. No painted figures in there. And then, of course, she does also have rear ditch lights, which I really like. I've been getting rid of most of my bigger engines. So, the reason I bought this was because it had ditch lights and it looks good running at night. I just don't like engines that don't have the extra lights. Go ahead and back her up a little bit here. You guys can get a look at the front when I turn all the lights on. You got your headlight. And FX5 is the ditch lights. They do not flash when you blow the horn. Which does not work when you have it muted. So here's... Go ahead and turn the sound on. That way you can hear the, the sounds. I have the prime mover turned up to 200. I'm not sure what the max is. But we'll go ahead and go through the sounds, one obviously being your bell. Two is your horn. Three is your short horn. Four is like dynamic brakes. But this locomotive does not have them. Five is your effects lights. Seven is dimmer and cab chatter, which is very, very quiet. I'm still trying to figure out how to get that turned up. I mean, you can barely hear the cab chatter. Eight, obviously, is your mute button. And I still, like I said, have not figured out how to uh, get it to where I can turn the startup on and off to where it's not actually making noise unless I tell it to. But we'll go ahead and look here at the back. And she does have the back ditch lights. And like I said, they, they don't flash, but that's not a big deal. trying to do this with one hand but there's a good look inside the cab Let's see if my phone will focus on it yeah, it's having trouble focusing in the cab but you can see there's some decent pretty decent interior I'd almost like to get somebody in there and, and get it painted and get a figure in there because I think that would be kind of nice. The only thing I have against Genesis models is the handrails are pretty flimsy. The fronts are pretty flimsy. And I have a GP50 of the same style. 
uh, ditch lights, which are the ones that are underneath the anti-climber and the uh, conductor side one broke off very easily. So, I'm in the process of trying to get that fixed. Other than that, I really like how their sound is nice and loud. Good for when you're at train shows and there's a lot of noise because it's very hard to hear. Uh, like I said, I still have to figure out the cab chatter one because that's one I really want to have it for at the shows. But, like I said, I, I do like the Athens Genesis locomotives because they're nice great runners and everything and they've got a good amount of detail and stuff i will be putting some road grime on this engine and weathering the great the grates the radiators and all of that i will be doing that the only other thing that i'm not too thrilled about is i put my hand up here you, you can see the number boards really aren't lit and i'm not sure why so if anybody knows why or knows how to do that, let me know. Out of five stars, I would give Genesis three and a half. Just because the ditch light being extremely flimsy, I got to knock a point for that. I got to knock a half a point for the... Uh, the uh, number board's not lighting. So, point and a half off of five is three and a half, yeah. I, I, I gotta knock that down. So, like I said, I, I three and a half out of five, I really do like them. But, like I said, the fact that the ditch lights are very, very or flimsy and the fact that the number boards are very nice, but they're not lit. And then, like I said, the the handrails being pretty flimsy and the, the uh, cab chatter being pretty quiet. But like I said, overall, would I buy these engines again? Yes, I would. Because there's probably a way to fix this stuff and there's probably a way to easily make sure the handrails are more sturdy and everything. So three and a half out of five, but I would recommend buying Athern Genesis engines uh, because not all of them have ditch lights so you don't have to worry about that problem on every one of them and like I said I'm sure it probably wouldn't be too hard to light the number boards so anyhow for now this is Brandon Railways signing off